Hello, welcome everyone. Uh, last week, on my way to the LaGrange Engine Show in Wellington, Ohio, I'd seen a trailer sitting out front of a house. And as soon as I drove by, I instantly knew what it was, that it was an International Harvester trailer. Um, if you'd never seen one of these before, it would probably just look like a common snowmobile trailer. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to stop because I had the, the trailer with me and the driveway was a little tight. And so I bypassed it. But on the way home from the show three days later, I was really surprised to see the trailer was still there. Because like I said, being an International Harvester trailer, I didn't think it would last that long. Apparently no one else really knew what it was. Uh, to them it probably just looked like a, a little rusty crappy snowmobile trailer but it is in fact an ih built number seven i can't find a whole lot of information out about these um, i do know that they were made in 1971 and the carrying capacity is 2,000 pounds now i don't know if that's gvrw like the trailer weights i think like 680 or 700 but it said 2,000 pound carrying capacity I'm gonna have to do a little bit of work to this. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with it yet, but I, I bought it and brought it home and then assessed what it was gonna need. It's gonna need tires and rims. I would have liked to try to keep the original tires on it because I'm not gonna be towing this very far um, just for authentic, but the tires are, they're not gonna be good enough to tow with. And the rims are pretty much shot too. You can see they got some holes and rot there, but fortunately these tires and rims are pretty inexpensive so I won't have much of a problem there in cost for that uh, the decks on these the trailer I think was like five foot four inches by ten but the deck is a five by ten by one inch thick piece of plywood and that's a very hard thing to find these days I did look online and you can get five by ten sheets of marine plywood half inch thick so I figured worst case I could double them up to make one inch and just put two sheets on there that's going to be the most expensive part with refurbishing this trailer is the decking because uh, any of you that are, you know price marine plywood it's definitely not cheap uh, rear lights someone upgraded them to something newer these aren't the original lights i'm going to try to find original lights for it um, it is surprising to find these brackets that the lights go on that are actually there or you know not totally bent and snapped off so um, that's good Along with rewiring, I'm going to take, someone added this in the back, that's not original. Uh, the clearance lights front and rear, them are coming off, someone had added them through the years. But uh, front tire stop on this is somewhat straight and not all bent up. Usually on these trailers that I've seen, now I haven't seen a lot of these trailers, but most of them I've seen, either this was all bent up or cut off or people re-welded other things to the front to suit their needs better. So. Um, that's on there the winch bracket that looks like something that someone had put on there that's not an original um, international harvester so that's all going to be removed during the um, restoration it is a little rusty but not bad uh, the gentleman told me he'd been sitting in a barn for years i don't know if the shock's any good yet i gotta mess with that i haven't even tried tilting the trailer too much um, besides sandblasting it down there's just a couple little areas on here um, on the frame on both sides over there and here you can see there's a hairline crack but i'm just gonna re-weld them up there was like three or four small cracks like that on the trailer and of course i can't find the other two now but um torsion axles they still look good and sturdy so um besides getting it cleaned up painted new deck and tires on it i figured i'm just gonna go ahead and restore it because it'd be a pretty neat little trailer to load some cubs on and go to a show and then you know if i was going to something quick for the day i didn't have to unload them so uh like i said i really can't find a whole lot out about these trailers i, I know they were made in at least 1971 if that's the only year i'm not sure i figured i'd throw a video on here i'm um, showing this trailer like i said i've seen 1200s the model 1200 trailers um every now and then the single axles but fine and tandem axles there's just not a whole lot out of there about them any of you watching this video that know um, any history of these the years made um, options things like the rear tail lights um, reflectors that kind of stuff if you could go ahead and throw it in the comments below um, just to sort of educate anyone else watching this video or helping me too to give me some information out about it i'd appreciate that 
If you guys like Cub Cadet videos and tractor related videos, be sure to subscribe. As always, thanks for watching.